Hi, I'm Finn from Mechanic Miner. Today I'm going to show you how to build a mechanical spider, similar to the one in the trailer of the game. This is an advanced build, so if you are new to the game, you should consider starting with simpler builds. Nido has made some more basic guides, which you can find in our YouTube channel or on mechanicminer.com under guides. And here it is. Although this machine is kind of advanced, it is made from simple blocks like planks and coupling, and a few standard parts. The spider's legs are based on well-known engineering practices about how to build walking machines. This spider uses a walking mechanism known as the clan linkage. You can easily find online resources, which describe it in detail, as well as other kinds of walking linkages. So, let's get started. First I'm going to be building a single leg. To John's left, I already made a small structure to support this one leg. I'm going to use both iron coupling and copper coupling to make it easier to see the connection points between the parts. The first part is built by building one, two, three, four, five, six iron couplings, then a copper coupling, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine iron couplings. On the left, I then add a single iron coupling and a single copper coupling. Now let me suspend this part in the air using the grapple lock tool, which can be activated by pressing the middle mouse button. The second part is then composed of a single copper coupling, and then four iron couplings, and another copper coupling. It should then be attached using a bearing, like this. A bearing is created by simply grabbing the new part to overlap with the other one and releasing the right mouse button. The third part is one copper coupling, three iron, another copper coupling, three more iron, and the last copper coupling and it is attached with another bearing here. The fourth part is a copper coupling, two iron coupling and another iron coupling, uh, copper coupling. And it goes here using a bearing again. Now I will quickly add the necessary blocks to fasten the leg to the machine. Build one block down, three up and then four blocks to the right there and then two down. The final part missing we sometimes call the crank. It's just three couplings and it should be attached here. Now we can attach the leg. I move the grapple lock over here and relock it using the middle mouse button. And then we can attach it using bearings. First here, and then we just pull this a little bit. So we can attach this here Oh, oops, it should be lower. Hold on. There. Now I release the grapple lock and can attach the connecting rod to the crank. Like so. And now the mechanism is complete. And it exhibits a nice walking motion. Okay. Now let me show you how to build the base of the spider, where all four legs can be attached. The basic shape is two down, three up, four left, and two down. For the second leg on this side, let's build a copy of this on top, two blocks to the right, like so. The middle of the vehicle can be any width as you choose. So I will build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks. On this side, we need an exact mirror of the two leg mount on the right. There. So over here, I have the next building steps desired result. The four cranks, one for each legs, all connected with belt and moving at the correct phase in order to get a smooth walking motion.
And here is how that is done. First build this S-shape from coupling and attach it with two bearings. This will become both cranks on this side once separated. But don't separate them yet. Build an opposite S on this side. Oh, oops, need more uh, coupling. Uh, there. There you go. And attach the two bearings like so. And now, again, before separating the cranks, um, attach all the four crank attachment points with one single belt like this. And lastly, delete using shift left click the two middle couplings. And everything is moving in the perfect phase. Note, a uh, build like this is what we need the low speed augmentation for. Make sure it's selected in the crafting menu before building the engine. Add the engine. Place the cranks to be easily accessible. And fix them by adding a belt. The engine's brakes now keep the cranks in this position for easier building. Now I'm going to build a leg again, completely the same as first time. I've sped up the video a little here to make it a bit faster. So, seven iron, one coupling, nine iron, two more couplings, spin it in the air, copper, four iron, another copper, attach bearing, copper, three iron, copper, three iron, copper, attach bearing there, copper, two iron copper attached there and attach the whole thing dislodge it first and be careful to use the right points the corresponding points on the mount so there it is finally attach the whole leg to the crank I can get it up like that. Okay. Another leg. Completely the same, just attached two blocks to the left. And there we go. And then the other side. Of course, this leg is mirrored but essentially the same build. Just remember to mirror it. Touch the crank and one leg to go. Exactly the same. There. Done. As the last bit, let me add a little machinery so I can hopefully take the thing for a walk. First a boiler for power. Put it there. Then I'm going to add a little enclosure. Just a little bit more so I can stand on the thing. That. And get up the top. And then a lever. And put it there and connect it with some cable. There, now we can you try the four legs just walking in the air. Seems to work perfectly. So, delete this block and it becomes dynamic. Away with this and take for stow. I can walk, I can walk. So, finally. I hope this guide has given you, all of you, the creative players of Mechanic Miner, a starting point to make walking machines. And I hope to see you all soon in the community.